CH really having a great time. Buckler's now up there on the top lane too, giving CK a little bit more pressure there. Uh, Familiar's up now too with Versace actually with that kill, hitting up to level six so they can push this top lane a little bit further now. Darks here, waiting to go on the Lich here. So uh, Lich all by himself, lonesome up there on the top lane right now. So he doesn't want to get, get himself caught out. Seer can easily just surge it up there, vacuum him into place, and they can easily push this top lane with the three, four heroes they have currently pushing this top lane. Lich now up on the side. Darks here gonna actually take the lane. He doesn't even want Lich at the moment. Actually, all the heroes want Lich. I now I say that. They all die past the tower to kill the creep wave, and then they'll might move back towards the tower. Frost goes off, destroys the creep wave, and they will focus the tower. Not much of a creep wave left, but there are reinforcements now coming into that tier one tower. Mid tier mid tier one tower getting slightly pressured. Bottom tier one tower getting very, very pressured there. Meat wagon as well as neck right pushing that one out. And uh, well, LGD, four heroes up there on the top, does get the kill on the top lane, so cold walking away with that one. The last hit, but Necrolite doesn't actually get the last hit in the bottom tower, so a little bit down luck there for uh, for the Necrolite in the bottom lane. Um, but yes, yeah, so we can't have everything in life. Um, 200 gold for every member of your team is still going to be enough. Let's have a look, look around here. Lich just walking around with 1600 gold. Um, still hasn't even bought boots yet. Um, actually, that's not 16, that's not Lich with 1600 gold. That's just the person I'm watching. That's actually Necrolite walking around with 1600 gold down there in the bottom lane. So continue to farm that one up. You've got to remember too on the uh, replays that doesn't show you the gold that each player has actually got. Um, so now bottom line going to be pushed out here. VS, EAS, SF all coming down. Raw goes off. They should be able to kill this bottom tower pretty quickly now. Uh, no hero actually down here to try and stop the defense. So uh, they will push this tower very, very easily. DD actually popping off on the Shadow Fiend, allowing him to do that. Even more burst damage. 159 plus the 60 is what he is actually pumping out right now. 200 hit points will be lost from every single hit. And CM's only got 625. And add the crit on top of that one. Um, so be very, very careful that. And uh, ZS, who is is our... Um, actually, who the hell is he? He's uh, running around anyway. Um, <laughs> YS is our Nevermore running around. ZS got the last hit, though. Here's because our Necrite is actually the one we're watching. Yes, win roll. So he actually gets one, one hit on the Tier 2 tower. Doesn't get the Tier 1, but he at least gets the Tier 2 tower. So consolation prize. Actually, it's more like an upgrade. Tier 2 tower gives you more money. So uh, he'll be happy with that one. So rotate around now, Lich is in the middle lane, so uh, obviously uh, we've seen we've seen from Nirvana CN, they realise they've got to try and play this lane battle now, which uh, LGD are trying to force them to do by trying to push out these lanes. Tier 2 tower has already been damaged a fair amount there on the top lane. Coolest thing at the moment too is Nirvana, the second they actually engage on these big fights, they are higher levels at the moment, they do have more pressure, they can do more burst damage as well, and that VS initiation swap, they can make it a 4v5 very, very fast. They're just going to push with the support right now, Darkseer getting caught out here, YS just using his standard attack to actually bring down the illusions, um, so we can't use them to scout anymore. Darkseer, what's he completing up now too? Soul Rings can be being completed, Vitality Booster he picked up when he was over near the secret shop as well. ES running himself around that middle lane, waiting for the right time. Blink, no, nothing up yet. Check his gold up a little bit later. They, we see Neck right now actually clocking up towards a 3,000 gold coming out for it. Uh, as our mid getting slightly frosted there by CM Visage, wants to try and push it with the Alchemist. Is it a trap? Is it a trap? Admiral Akbar is not going to be hanging in the wings. There are three hanging around the mid tower. They will be able to slow him down, but they won't be able to really actually kill any of these guys unless Lich gets one perfect damn ulti. Visage now flying, flying those are familiars back. Realises that it's a little bit lean over his head. Tarxia only escaping with just a bare stick of his life up there on the top lane. It's all about the neck light. It's all about ZS. Just f continuing to free farm the lanes. He went from the he went from the bottom, then he shifted up towards the top, continuing to get gold left, right, and center. ES Fisher now goes out, makes it a kit uh, stun there on his MSJ. No kill. Obviously, Fisher doesn't kill an alchemist. He's way too beefy for that kind of thing. Top lane still going head, head to head at the moment. Necrolite being forced back there with CK. Actually now being locked in Frost here. Necrolite falling herself back. 145 HP on the run. CK uses magic once. He wants the stun. He wants the stun. In comes VS. Look for the stun. They get the Frost off here. Will VS initiate? Raw goes off. There goes the swap. Lich will come in. Off goes the Frost. Doesn't need to go the ulti. Um, but it's enough to claim YYF. Trying to retrieve, retrieve himself out there. So carry for carry. It's the way it's going to go down. Mid lane now being pushed out. ES Fisher goes down. Down, try to slow down all the guys in the middle lane right now. It's just going to damage that creep wave. Familiar's letting off everything they've got at that spirit tower. ES hanging inside the ring wings here with those, uh, obviously with those arcane boots. Fantastic, fantastic item for the ES. Um, actually, really means he doesn't need to use that soul ring. Um, it also gives mana to everyone around him. Magic Missile now coming down. It's MSJ getting himself stunned right now. They're familiars. Will drop from the skies. Looking to get the stun. Lich ulti now bouncing off. And it just bounces between the familiars and then back in towards the creep wave. There is a kill though on the Alchemist going out. It is all about the Shadow Fiend coming through. ES lets the ulti off. It just rips straight through. SF ulti bounces off as well. They want to claim this CK. They can't see him. They went for the frost. Then comes the vacuum. What a pull! 
Comes straight in there from the dark sea. A CK just blinked him on the top as well. Held him in place. And they do manage to actually claim Yaz on the retreat back out again. So, oh wow, fantastic play coming out from both sides. Just said, we're two heroes still being on the Simbins from either side. And all going hammer and tongs. A 10 to 6 so far coming out on the boards. And so, oh, Yaz, that was his first death, death for the game. He's got three kills, one assist. We'll see what items he actually pops back up again when he actually starts to live again. Lich getting caught out here by the Familiars. His um, illusions are trying to do whatever he can, but they're actually just drop down top of him. The Familiars can't finish this off. It's going to take a while before they can actually bring themselves back up again. And Necrolite is in the neighborhood, so uh, they won't pressure him too much, but uh, it will force Lich to actually fall himself back there. Frost armor is the only thing that really saved him during that one, giving him that little bit of extra boost on the armor. More gold coming in for Necrolite. Items as well coming down. Chainmail. Come on, Crow, you can complete it. It's not that hard. There we go. Buckler, Mech, now completed. Still with an extra bit of gold. Like to see maybe even a Shiva's, maybe uh, some sort of some sort of aura would actually help out his team at the moment. Mid push coming through. Great VS swap on CM. It's all to actually CM actually being held in place. The CK is stunned. Has gone on LM. He's trying to fall himself back. Now ES puts his, his totem down, but the CK blink is more than enough to get the retreating LM. Coming back out again. Familiar's going to drop themselves down. If they do get themselves in trouble, Ben did actually get caught out as well. CK now going through. ES Fidget goes off. And uh, Lich still using those illusions to create some issues. Alchemist attacking that Necrolite, who does go down in the backsides inside the middle of the toxic spray. And now Necrolite forced to also go back towards that tier one tower. But wow, what a defense here from LGD. They've been looking very, very rough so far in the game, but they're slowly starting to balance it out now. Lich actually getting caught out by the Darks here. Great stun from, from the ES. It's not going to be enough with Visage. Still in the neighborhood as, uh, wow, it would have only taken like two hits to actually kill that Darks here. They're going to go for ES right now. Familiar's dropping in from the sky. TP support has come on down. They might be pushing over their means, but no, ES will take a fall. CK still around. Mech fires off. Everyone gets a little bit more health. And LGD, you are playing an amazing, amazing game right now. And Nirvana with that early rush got themselves an awesome advantage, but LGD are pulling it back right now. This is why their class is the second best team in the world, and that is not a down thing, I'm actually saying. E-Home is one fantastic side, um, but really, LGD, they are really going to pump it off nicely here. I'm going to push that tier 1 tower down. There's only one more tier 1 tower up on the map for them to actually kill. SF trying to get the one up there on the top. TP support is going to come in. Is it? It's going to be an Alchemist. Tried to go for the stun off the back of the TP. Will stun himself because of that one. SF able to actually fall himself back out of vision there, so the stun will not take effect. Um, a great, great try there from ZMSJ to actually use that, uh, use the initiating stun, and then use the TP to actually get himself a little bit closer, which would have actually given him basically full mana when he actually rejoined that top lane from everything he actually used. Um, as I say, that he's actually got now nothing in the bank um, as far as mana goes. So maybe TPing a little bit early there, just make sure he can actually get that kill. Uh, so maybe a little bit out of his means to actually do so. VS and Lich, Necrolite as well, teaming up to push the mid lane. ES down towards the bottom lane, still no more items on top of him. Let's actually have a look very, very closely here at the Earthshaker. How much money has actually got? 842, so still a very, very long way away from actually getting that Blink Dagger up. Want we'll to see a little bit more initiation coming out here from Nirvana CN. They're not going to try and shut him down. Roshan back up again, now we're at the 15 minute mark too. So uh, Familiar is just keeping their vision off there. Lich just trying to harass them back even then. That's going to be an indication to actually tell them that something is going to happen. And those Familiars just fly straight over the top there. Even though they know they're killing Roshan, I don't know if Nirvana can actually hold this one off. Lich coming in back again. Necrolite might be able to tank it. Familiars are scouting straight over the top. They've got to kill those Familiars. Familiars actually dropping down. The initiation does, initiation does come off here. Darkseer already done. Great ES ulti. They use it as bait. Necrolite, where's that Lich ulti? It's not enough right now. ES is still trying to have a go at the moment. There's one little ghoul for some reason. ES and uh, ES are hitting on top of that one. ES trying to actually move himself back there. It must be illusions. Uh, in fact, it is the exact illusion wall that was actually doing all that one. Back towards the middle lane right now. Frost armor still on top. SF, there's still four heroes alive here for the uh, for the Scourge. We're going to push that all out and uh, the Sentinel just regrouping themselves around. They're pushing out other lanes right now. CK forced to fall back after that one. It was a great initiation that actually came out there from LGD. Uh, from Nirvana. Um, from, from the Nirvana side. LG just not quite ready for it. Once again, they're just moving themselves out at the front of the Roche pit. Visage is hanging inside the wings. He's like, you know what? If you go for it, I can see you. I have familiars. It's going to be pretty easy to do so. So look for that time to push out. They've got to go back towards their lanes. That's what YS has now done. BKB actually completed on top of him too. At the 16-minute uh, mark, he would have had that one. Still got a little bit more farm to actually get up here for YS, but that does mean he can let off all those stuns, all those, that perfect ulti. Um, with no issues whatsoever. 2100 will be the target, or 2150 will be the target for his gold counter right now to get that blink dagger up. He needs that blink dagger to initiate so, so well. 
sell one of those slippers. He can have all he possibly wants. The ping's still coming off at the moment. They're spotting the Alchemist and the CK moving inside the trees where the tier one tower used to be in that middle lane. Let's just dropping down a sentry ward. Wants to know if they actually have vision. Who's hanging around right now? They think that someone's trying to initiate. Yes, moving himself back towards that Roche pit. Wants to check on the runes. There are still wards up at the moment. So Nirvana, as uh, well as well as LGD. Yep, there they are. They got um, they got perfect vision over that bottom rune. Of course, Nirvana is the only one that actually knows that that uh, ward is there. So they're going to use that to their advantage at one point. Massage getting fissured down there on the bottom lane. More TP support going to come in. We've got two heroes hanging around with one in the wings. It's the Vengeful Spirit. They want to try and get this swap initiate off right now. Uh, ES, now, uh, the Alchemist coming in from the riverside. Pulls a little bit of the creep wave down. They probably won't continue. They've lost vision there, but it's the Acid Spray, which will actually stop the uh, Scourge from pushing out that bottom lane any further right now. Alchemist now is getting caught out by one of the Necrolites. They might try and initiate this if SF can actually catch up in time. Alchemist, though, has actually completed that Hood of Defiance, and there goes the Cannibal going off right now. Um, but Alchemist has actually completed that Hood of Defiance too, so he will be able to tank those SF raises a lot more, obviously being magical damage. Um, it does actually res restrain that one off. Looks like a uh, double call is coming on the bottom lane right now. One apiece, sorry, coming off. CM trying to fall itself back. ES as well pops off the ulti. It will hit off the back there, but the mech charge is actually coming in while the while the ES ulti was following it around. Neck lights in trouble. SF pops off the ulti. That will force it back. And Lich ulti still bouncing around right in between all the heroes. It's just bouncing off the familiars as well. We do see the chemical wing raging. He's going to get himself searched out there by the Darkseer, saving up his teammate. They did even, they did manage to actually claim one there from the Sentinel side, but a couple from the search. Sur actually died there. In fact, four are actually still alive. So one from either side and all heroes retreating themselves back there. So much they are building this lineup as well. It's going to be so hard to bring these guys down during a team fight. So moving themselves back towards that Roche pit. You can see them actually having a go at it right now. ES and SF. There on the front lines. Once again, almost thinking of using his bait. Frost goes off on the SF, trying to get himself back up. Vacuum goes off. He does have his BKB. He's locked in Frost Cone right now. The BKB does fire off. He is still getting damage. The Alchemist done will not do any damage, but the Familiars will be enough to do that normal damage that does come through and rip through that BKB. And now Alchemist goes in to tank up Roshan. Still got that Scourge Creep Wave that are currently watching. They've got to kill that Creep Wave before they can go for Roshan. Of course, VS is going to know what is happening right now. They're going to form themselves back up. They have lost that SF. They have lost that Lich Ulti. So a lot of things being down right now. CM still moving himself around, or herself around on the outside. TP now coming in. ES is coming on the way through. Look for that Fissure just to slow them down. Might even catch Alchemist out. Mech firing off once again. And now comes the Fissure. Locks him in place. They should actually be able to claim the CM. So they at least get one there. The Vacuum does pull, pull Necrolite back in. They're going to try and make the most of it. They might actually kill Necrolite. Great VS swap. Um, still coming through. Necrolite now going down the river. ES comes through with another Sun. CK going off. What a fantastic play. Who needs an SF? They're doing this the old fashioned way. Another ES Sun goes out there. That's the second or third feature for this battle so far. Really coming off. Sun from the Alchemist will bring down Lich. HY finally takes a fall as well. Two down for either side, but to do that without your big, big carry of SF and something from claiming Roshan, all props now going out to Nirvana CN. And yes, wow, what a play uh, we see while that's happening. YS going down towards the bottom line. Newest team 